So after a trip down memory lane on stream this week, we ended up having a discussion about Star's Battlefront, and in fact discovered that the original Star's Battlefront was actually available on Steam. So logically, we ended up playing it for the rest of the stream. Now before we do continue, please do take everything I say with a pinch of salt, as although I didn't play as much of the first Battlefront as I did as a second when I was a kid, it is very much in the same vein of shooters I grew up playing. So. I definitely have been wearing those rose tinted glasses for the past few days of playtime. But Battlefront 1, a forgotten gem, wow, just wow. This game released 17 years ago and honestly, it holds up pretty well. Now I'm not going to lie, I'm not going to beat around the bush. There are many things that are extremely dated about the game, the graphics being one of them. They are nothing to write home about and along with that, the AI is just, it's very dumb bullet fodder we're, we're not good we're not gonna try and hide that but what this game makes up for is just that charm that plain and simple shooting that we don't really get any and when there's even discussion of ai in games such as battlefield 2042 it's kind of you're left with this disgust almost whereas in games like battlefront 1 and 2 the whole point was just have fun against ai you'd hop on with the boys and just tear it apart which I find is just a very interesting progression of the FPS genre and just gaming in general. Now, as I said, graphics are nothing to write home about, but something which is a bit of an issue with older shooters and just older games in general is often for their FPS limitations due to animations or the speed of the game, stuff like that. But performance was great on this. There was no FPS limitations and there were times in the game mid firefight where I was above 500 frames. Now that that is excessive. That is excessive. I'm not going to lie, but it felt so buttery smooth running through Naboo, Geonosis just blasting everyone and it just not a single hitch. And that is what I want to continue on to. The scale of this game holds up so well. It truly does feel like I am in the Star Wars universe taking these fights against the droid armies, trying to take back planets as the rebels. And it is just so good and with this game being about having fun fighting AI the maps are really 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 just something special now some of it did grow up watching the films of course they're gonna hit home but they don't play like modern day shooters the scale of just these open wide places is great now for balance I'm not gonna comment on it as especially with AI the whole point is you are just this kind of super soldier running around having fun but they just play and feel fun. There's not like one of those maps that just goes, oh God, here we go, we have to play this. And that is something that I can't tell if it's just the AI and it's different time, but yeah, maps are just solid. And along with that, the audio is just great. I, you can hear blaster shots, you hear you hear fighters flying past you, speeders, AT-80s, and it is just so, so cool. And along with that, you then have just the orchestral hum of the Star Wars soundtrack just going on in the background and it is great. It is just so much bloody fun. And this whole time I was not worried at all about min-maxing my character. You just have some base classes, no perks, no weapons, no bullshit. You just spawn in whatever you want and have fun. Now something the original doesn't have that the second does is her heroes. You can't play as the Jedi. So you do just feel like just a member of just an army going in there and you could be one shot by these AI. These AI can just aimbot you to shit, but that is just great. And on top of these instant battles, there are campaigns for both the Clone Wars and the Galactic Civil. Now these are just glorified instant actions, but there are a few twists and objectives and it's all kind of tied together with scenes from the movie, which I just think is a nice touch. You know, it's a nice way of holding your hand and guiding you through the Star Wars universe. And along with that, there is Galactic Conquest, which is more of a freeform style fighting over planets. Uh, but I haven't played much of this. I might cover this down the line. But Star Wars Battlefront 1, the original of the series released in 2004, is just plain, simple fun. No bullshit, just spawn in and have fun. For the price of £17.19, you just really can't go wrong. So if you two are feeling a little bit lost at the moment on shooters to play and maybe want a little bit of nostalgia pick it up with that being said peace out to you and goodbye stay safe out there
Thank <laughs> you.